Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will talk about series diode configuration with DC inputs. And in the process, we will be solving or uh, discussing examples 2.6 to 2.11 so that our basic concepts get clear. Now, a point to note that in this section, we will be using the approximate model of diode. And just to give an idea, the approximate in the approximate model, we, when the diode is conducting, we assume that there is a barrier potential of 0 0.7 volt. So the diode is replaced by 0 0.7 volt battery. This is for silicon diode and for germanium it will be 0 0.3 volt. Now in the next video we will study about the ideal model. In ideal model of diode, the diode is replaced simply by a straight line, uh, no voltage drop, 0 volt. So just keep this mind. Now couple of terms that we will be using, the term VT is called turn on voltage. And as we discussed for silicon, the turn on voltage is 0.7 or greater. Diode is in on when the applied voltage across the diode, Vd, is greater than Vt. So if we apply a voltage here greater than 0.7, which is Vt, then the diode will turn on. Now how much greater? It may be just 0.1. A point half etc and similarly for germanium the vd has to be greater than vt that is 0 0.3 volt also the supply voltage has to be greater than vt obviously only then the diode will turn on and uh, for this circuit we can write kvl equation I start from one corner, so starting from left corner we have minus sign, so we'll write minus E and then we come to VD, so plus VD plus VR, minus E plus VD diode voltage plus VR. Also as we mentioned here that VD is equal to or greater than VT, so we have to keep this in mind and from here we can write VR is E minus VT. Also we need to find the diode current or the current through the resistor, they are the same. And this can be found by the voltage across the resistor divided by value of the resistor. And when the diode is reverse mass, that is either the diode is reversed or the battery is reversed. Here we have just reversed the diode. So it will become a reverse bias. For forward bias, the positive battery or the positive terminal of battery touching the positive of the diode, and this will make it forward. If the positive of the battery touches the negative terminal of the diode, the vertical bar is showing as a negative, then this will be reverse bias. And in case of a reverse bias, the diode will become open circuit or behave like an open circuit because no current can flow through the circuit. So the diode current is equal to zero. And the voltage across diode will be this voltage E. From here you can see that if VD is, uh, uh, VR is zero because current is zero, therefore E is equal to VD or VD is equal to E. So this will become equal to E. Now let's do example number 2.6. We have an 8 volt battery, silicon diode in the forward bias, positive touching positive of the diode and a 2.2K resistor. You have to find three things, the voltage across diode, voltage across resistance and the current through diode or through resistance is the same. ID is same as equal to IR. Okay, so first we just checking that the E is greater than VT and so the diode is on 
and when the diode is on, the voltage across it will be a 0.7 volt. We can replace it by a 0.7 volt battery. Next, we take help of this uh, formula, minus E plus VD plus VR. And so this will be, from here we can write V is E minus VD, E is 8, and VD is 0 0.7. Therefore, we are the voltage across resistor is 7.3 volt. So we have found two things, VD and VR. Now we need to find ID or IR. So a simple ID is equal to IR, is equal to VR, the voltage across resistor divided by the resistance. Voltage we calculated 7.3 volt and the resistance is 2.2 kilo. So the current is 3.32 milliampere approximately. Now we are in example 2.7 and you can see the only difference here is that the diode uh, has been turned around. So the negative of the diode is now touching the positive of the battery. That means the diode is reverse biased. So we can draw the equivalent circuit by showing diode to be an open circuit. And since this is open circuit, so no current is flowing through the circuit. Therefore, ID is equal to zero, and also IR equal to zero, and therefore VR is also zero. So let's write down ID is equal to zero, IR is also zero, same current. VR is I into R, zero into R is equal to zero volt. And now from this formula, the uh, KVL equation, we can write that VD is E minus VR. E is 8 volt, VR is 0 from here. So VD is equal to 8 volt is the answer. Okay, now we are in example 2.8. And here also we have to find VD, VR and diode current ID. Now if you look at the circuit, the supply voltage is very less, it is 0 0.5 volt only. And I am sure you have learned that uh, the diode has a barrier potential and we got to overcome that barrier potential. And this is like a barrier and you have to jump over this. For this you need a strength of 0 0.7 volt for silicon. Now this strength is only 0 0.5 volt, so it cannot cross it cannot jump over the barrier and therefore the diode will not be turning on it will remain off so with this knowledge now let's proceed and you can see from this uh, diagram this is the uh, uh, approximation diagram that at 0.7 the diode turns on we are at 0.5 so it is in the off state we are located here The applied voltage is insufficient to turn the silicon diode on. And therefore, current through the circuit will be zero because this is off. And so the voltage across the resistance will also be zero because there is no current. And let's see this diagram. This will clarify that the diode will behave like an open circuit and so no current will flow through this. And if we write the KVL equation to find VD, again we follow the same technique, minus E, minus E plus VD plus VR equals zero. Plugging in the value, VR is zero, so this is zero. Therefore VD is equal to 0 0.5 volt. So this voltage will be 0 0.5 volt. Now we come on to the example 2.9. Here we have two diodes. One is the silicon diode and other is germanium diode. And we have 12 volt input positive at the top. That means it will make both the diodes forward bias because this is touching positive. And after this also let's see when if we subtract 
11.7 then 11.7 positive will be touching this and that is why both the diodes will be on now this is a simplified circuit actual circuit is like this that we have a 12 volt battery we have two diodes we have the resistance and the circuit is completed through this And same thing that we, we uh, now can see uh, that for turning it on, VD has to be uh, greater than VT, that is 0 0.74 for silicon and 0 0.3 for germanium. And so we can replace the uh, diodes by their equivalent batteries or equivalent uh, barrier potential, so 0 0.7 for the silicon and 0 0.3 for the germanium and we can see that E is greater than E is equal to 12 volt is greater than the drop across these two diodes and therefore the diode will turn on. Now by KVL we write the equation minus E plus VT1 plus VT2 and plus V naught is equal to zero and then plugging in the value V zero is now E minus V T one V T two twelve minus zero point seven for silicon zero point three for germanium so V O that is the voltage here which is also V R V O or V R is eleven volt. So we have found VO, we now need to find ID. So we know uh, this voltage, so IR and ID are same. Therefore, we can write that ID is equal to IR is equal to VR over R and VR and V0 is same. So V0 over R, V0 is 11 volt and R is 5.6 K. So ID is 1.96 milliampere approximately. Now this question is uh, slightly uh, difficult, you can see there are two silicon diodes, one is the forward bias and the other is reverse bias. The, this one has voltage VD1 and this one has voltage VD2. For, this is forward bias because positive of 12 volt is connecting the positive terminal and then this is reverse bias. Uh, by two ways you can say that the positive is connecting the negative terminal or the positive terminal is grounded through this so it is reverse bias so this is the equivalent circuit we can draw for this we'll write reverse bias now the current through the circuit will be zero because of this open circuit no current is flowing now one important point here we have to keep in mind what will be the voltage can we replace this as a 0 0.7 volt no why not let's see that id is 0 v0 is 0 from here since no current is flowing but this is an important point for actual practical diode when ID is 0 then VD is 0 that means the current through this one is 0 and therefore the, the voltage across this diode will be 0 volt so we'll write VD1 as 0 volt here and this is of course open we have to find this voltage VD2 so we take help of KVL we move like this so minus E plus VD1 plus VD2 plus V0 and from here we can write VD2 is E minus VD1 minus V0. Now E is 12 volt this is minus VD1 this one here is 0 volt and also we found that V0 is 0 volt because no current is flowing. So VD2 will be 12 volt so all the supply voltage will appear across the open terminal so VD2 will be 12 volt. And finally, 
uh, this circuit has now two source you can see here uh, so let's see how to work with this we can redraw this with a voltage source here a voltage source here and now you can see that this voltage source is making this diode forward bias positive touching positive this one is also making this diode forward bias because through the ground if you see the positive is touching positive and negative is touching negative therefore this is also making this diode forward bias if this was reversed then situation will be different so we'll see subsequently how to tackle this anyway so this is the equivalent circuit loop one we take kvl so minus e minus e1 plus v1 plus v1 plus 0 0.7 volt since this is conducting so 0 0.7 volt plus v2 and this is minus e2 now remember this is minus so we have to connect this battery like this that the negative terminal at the top and positive terminal at the ground so minus e2 minus e2 and from here plugging in the values we can find the current through this circuit so the current is 2.72 milliampere so we have found the current now we have to find v1 v2 and v0 so v1 v2 are simple you just multiply the resistances with current v1 and v2 so we get 9.74 v1 and 4.56 as v2 now this is 4.7 here and this one is 2.2 okay now we need to find v0 for this we'll have to take help of this loop so let's write the equation in loop number two kvl equation we are going starting from here it has a positive sign so positive e2 positive e2 minus v2 minus v2 and plus v0 plus v0 so v0 is v2 minus e2 and v2 is how much from here 4.56 and e2 is minus 5 uh, sorry e2 is 5 with the minus sign so the answer is that v naught will be minus 0 0.44 volt so i hope this gives you an understanding as to how to solve this type of a problem so they are i hope very easy uh, you follow the steps it will be no problem thank you a word of caution always use kvl to find the unknown voltages.